A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil, that is, his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with sincere heart and in absolute trust, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. We should not stay away from our assembly, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another. And this is all the more as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, The Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Who can ascend the mountains of the Lord? Or who may stand in this holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, whose desires not what is in vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks for the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday. The gospel again is from Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed? Not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden that will not be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Another Gospel that I've always liked, Jesus gets really right to the point. Open your ears. If you have ears and you hear, well then, are you really listening? Every Sunday when we proclaim the word in church, people are standing up at the gospel. They're looking right at me when I read it. I hope they're hearing it. I hope they're listening. Because you know, hearing is hearing. Listening is to begin processing it. And that's what Christ is talking about. And to those who really hear it, to those like the rich soil from yesterday that it's planted in, it will flourish, right? The mustard seed, the smallest one planted in the ground becomes the huge shrub. Well, it's the same with the word of God planted in our hearts, that it may develop into this magnificent, life-giving entity that is you and I, empowered by the grace of God from the seeds of the gospel and discipleship planted within and that's what we're supposed to be doing out in the world. The measure you measure will be measured back to you and more will be given. Couldn't be any clearer than that. Listen to the gospel. Let the good soil that is your heart take hold of the wisdom of Jesus Christ and then let it flourish. And the measure that you measure out will come back to you in the gratitude of those you grace with your gifts. And again, a few days ago, the gifts of love, the gifts of compassion, the gifts of forgiveness, the, the gifts of listening, being a healer, all of that will come back to you. Believe me, I know. Maybe it's sort of my business because I work for the firm, so to speak, but I can't tell you how much has been given back to me in life because of what I've tried so hard to do for others. It's a wonderful thing, really. One of the greatest acclamations we can receive is, thank you for what you did for me. 
my friends, let us do for one another from the wellspring of gifts and grace that we all possess. We have heard it. We have listened. Let us measure out the Christ to others by the good work we do. Take care and God bless. And now, my friends, as we have shared the word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. Friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection. 